Can you hear me now? I'll switch here. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm excited to serve on this uh, committee. The work of this committee is going to be incredibly important. Passing an infrastructure bill, investing in America's infrastructure is critical to cities and communities all across the country. And we can't accomplish our goals as a country. We can't accomplish our goals in terms of job creation, economic development. We can't accomplish our goals when it comes to climate change and fighting the impacts of climate change and climate change adaptation unless this committee successfully does, it work, does its work and reach bipartisan agreement and passing a significant uh, infrastructure uh, bill. You know, before I was elected to Congress just a few months ago, I served as a mayor. I was a big city mayor, mayor of Phoenix, Arizona, the fifth largest city uh, in uh, America. And I had the honor to work closely with Mayor Garcetti in the U.S. Conference of Mayors. And I can tell you, just as he's shown off today, as he always does, uh, he's one of the most well-respected mayors in the United States of America, a leader among the, the mayors. So, Mayor, thank you for being here and all you do to support cities like Phoenix uh, uh, across America with your uh, great work. Uh, in the city of Phoenix, we understand this concept that uh, it's tough to go it alone. The federal government uh, in the last few years has not been supportive of cities and communities. We had to go it alone. As mayor, I put on the ballot a significant infrastructure investment, 35-year, uh, $32 billion uh, investment in light rail and road improvements, in dial-a-ride, in buses, in walkability and uh, bikeability without the expectation of federal support. Mayor Garcetti did come and visit me in Phoenix when we opened our northwest extension of our light rail line, which is a great extension, not a single federal dollar uh, in that line. The reality is, is that's good, but not good enough. Federal government needs to be a partner with our uh, local governments if we're truly going to be, if we're truly going to be uh, successful. A city like Arizona and Phoenix and Arizona, fourth fastest growing state, we need that federal uh, partnership. And of course, when it comes to water and water infrastructure, we're in a drought. Uh, it's a significant uh, drought. And the ability to move water more efficiently is a critically important. We're going to need federal partnership uh, to uh, get her done. So I can't wait to work in a bipartisan way to, to get it done. It will not be easy. It will not be inexpensive. Uh, so, Mayor, I want to ask you, uh, you know, U.S. Conference of Mayors, you personally have been involved in helping to build support, but I still think we haven't done a good enough job of making the case to the American public as to why this investment is so important. Uh, advice about how what you and other mayors in particular, because mayors are still the, the most well-respected uh, level of government, cities and uh, mayors, what they can do to be, help kind of build the case with the American people to support the work that this committee is going to do. Well, thank you, and, and you look great up here, Greg. It's great to see you, uh, Congressman. It's been so much fun serving with you as a mayor, and I'm so excited. We have one of America's great mayors now uh, serving in this United States House of Representatives. I also want to give my apologies to the, the front three here, Ms. Davids, uh, Mr. Garcia, and Mr. Ruda, because I have to meet with uh, my great other passion on homelessness with Chairwoman uh, Waters, which is why I'm going to be, unfortunately, have to leave a little early before your questions. But uh, if you didn't hear, you're going to be first on the queue for the next ones, if not. Um, make it visceral is the answer. Uh, I'll tell you a quick story. When you did Measure M, raised $10 million to run a campaign to pass this transportation infrastructure initiative in Los Angeles. We ran two weeks of ads. We have, need two-thirds vote in California. You might think of us as a liberal state, but we're very conservative. When it comes to passing taxes, you need a two-thirds vote. And uh, we were polling at about 63, 64, 65%. So we knew it was going to be a tough lift. We ran two weeks of ads that were the typical infrastructure ads. Look at all these people paving streets moving, look at all the jobs, we're going to reduce your commute, trains, roads, all that stuff. And two weeks into spending $5 million, we went down to 61%. And I said, oh no, this thing's going down. Put all my political capital on the line, I built that up for four years, raised more money, called in every favor from everybody I ever knew. And my campaign consultant said, let's try this differently. Let's get in your car and uh, just drive. No script, and I'll just film you. And there we were on Saturday afternoon in Los Angeles, and I said, here we are in rush hour traffic. And I turned the camera, it was a stop traffic. Only problem is it's Saturday afternoon. And everybody in Los Angeles got that. It wasn't about the politicians saying, trust us, this miles, this much. It was like they got being stuck in traffic. And what I said when I opened, I'll close with as well, we offer help on this. We're raising also hundreds of thousands. It'll be in the millions of dollars to help support you, Mr. Chairman, ranking member of this entire committee, get the message out throughout America in districts. America's mayors already do that. 
Accelerator for America, which is state, local officials, it's the private sector, it's Republicans, it's Democrats, it's labor. We will get this done. So whatever you put out there, we are going to be some wind behind those sails. But keep it visceral, keep it human. Don't talk about policies and statistics. Get those done in here. When we start selling this, make it a human issue. If I could, Mr. Chairman, I would, I would echo that too, uh, Congressman. Uh, leverage us. This nation's 55 mayors of the states and territories will be here on the 23rd of February at a round table with the sole purpose of saying, we're ready for you to do this. We're there to get your back. We're there to cover it and take the message. So uh, we can do this. Now's your time. I think I heard it in here. Be great. Tim, You've got the thanks. opportunity to get, do it. I'm going to interrupt because we're going to have one more question uh, from that side. Mr. Graves, go ahead. 